so next question is from Secular Sakai asking, how common or rare is monolatry in modern, modern forms of Hinduism? So monolatry is like if you worship one God alone, but you still believe other gods exist, right? Is that it? I don't know. Uh, I oh. thought it was like monism. No, monolatry, I think, is when you believe, like, it's kind of like early early Judaism, where they didn't deny the existence of other gods. It's just like, yeah, there are other gods, but just like only only Yahweh is worth of. Uh, I thought that was called, of... um, like, Wait, henism? Mono... Monohenism? I can't, I can't spell this. I can't spell. So monolatry is the belief in the existence of many gods, but with the consistent worship of only one deity you freaking nailed it Mon monolatry okay yes okay oh gosh i'm saying i'm right yeah and also the Jewish. okay so um i th i don't know okay so could she being a what is it called when you only worship shiva shiva shivanite what is it called like vaishnavites and shivanites vaishnavites shivanites is that what is that uh, called i don't know if in that's Hinduism. the term that people Shai... commonly use I mean that's a very exactly. like anglicized word, so I doubt people in India would use that word. But I know I don't care about. if it's anglicized. I'm not like I'm not just like. Uh, oh, you oh, nailed this it. This is a was, Shaivanism or yeah. close enough. Okay, close. Okay, Shai Yeah. Okay, so Vaishnav Vaishnavite and Shaivanite. Okay, Shai Shai Shaivite Shai Okay, I don't know if I'm pronouncing. <laughs> it's tough. Okay, so I think that's the closest thing to what you're referring to. Bring back the question. Okay, so if you're a Vaishnavite, okay, you are, if you're a Vaishnavite in Hinduism, okay, but by the way, I might be wrong about this. I'm just giving you my impressions and I uh, let, let the live chat just tell me, if, uh, we have a lot of people from India in the live chat, so they can tell me if I'm right about this, okay? If you're a Vaishnavite, you're acknowledging the existence of other gods, like, uh, but you're only worshiping, you're, you're committed, you're submitting to, uh, what is the word? loyal to devoted you're devoted you're a devotee of vishnu if you're a vaishnavite or the other one shaivite you're a dev or i don't know if i'm pronouncing it right you're a devotee of shiva even though you're acknowledging a bajillion other gods existence of a bajillion other gods right, is that a number um but you're only like a vaishnavite you're is completely dedicated devotee um and to a worship of Vishnu. So I think that would be close to monolatry, right? So I don't know how common it is uh, in India because I know most Indians are completely happy to switch from the worship of one God to another, right? Um, like, I, I don't think, like, I don't think most Hindus in India have only worshipped one God. I think, like, I don't, I don't know if there's any Hindu. I think it would be very rare for you to find a Hindu. Like, even if they're a devotee of a certain god, like, let's say you're a, a Vaishnavite, right? So you're a devotee of Vishnu. So you're very committed to Vishnu. Your, your entire religion surrounds just being a devotee to Vishnu. I don't think it would be... I don't think that person would have never prayed to another god. Like, I don't... I would think it would be very hard to find... And I don't think that person will have a problem praying to another God, right? So, for example, if I think about early Judaism, so who, who believed in Yahweh, uh, but they had, but they didn't worship other gods, they condemned worshiping other gods. I, I'm not talking early, early Judaism. Early, early Judaism didn't even have a problem worshiping other gods, right? So I'm talking uh, post exile, post Babylonian exile. Judaism had more of a monotheism or uh, monolatry that worship Yahweh and condemned worshiping other gods, acknowledged the existence of other gods, but condemned worshiping it. You could even read in the Bible that the Bible doesn't like calls God a jealous God, right? So Yahweh is a jealous God who doesn't want you to worship other gods. Like even in the Bible that we have as a canonized Bible in our hand today, you can see it kind of acknowledges the existence of other gods. You just say God is jealous. He doesn't want you to worship them. It doesn't say those gods don't exist, right? But I don't think in Hinduism, if you're a devotee of Vishnu, I don't think you would have any problem 
sending a prayer to Shiva <laughs> or Kelly or like, you know, any other gods, you know what I mean? I don't think that there would be any, I don't think you would be, you would see that as wrong. So I don't know if that's given that you have no problem worshiping other gods. I don't think and that would be considered as monolatry. What do you think? What does life chat say? Um, Tarakudo is saying, I visited a Hindu temple for both Vishnu and Shiva, but the tour guide said they avoid looking at the god they're not devoted to. I wonder, wow. I wonder if it's just for that occasion, though. Like, maybe when you're making devotions, you got to be very careful that it's not interpreted as going towards the other person. I don't know. Um, Rudresh is saying uh, Shivite can worship Vishnu, but the other way is forbidden. Interesting. Wow. These are so cool. And so Philip is amazing. saying, what about devoted to Brahma? That's very rare. There's only one temple That's devoted very, to Brahma. He, there's only no one, one temple about <laughs> because he he screwed with his own he married his own daughter <laughs> right that's not I why mean, that, it is why no that was part of his punishment he lost all his temples oh really yeah he just he lost all his temples because of i don't know what was it she, who who forced this upon him because shiva didn't like by the way Maybe brahma shiva. is like a perv based on hinduism standards no, but not based on ours. People are like, oh, this is your Western blah 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 standards, okay? No, Shiva. This is based on Hinduism own standard. Shiva cut off his head. Shiva cut off the head of Brahma. One of he like if you look at Brahma's picture, he has four heads. He used to have five, okay? And Shiva cut off his heads because he was being a perv. I don't understand how the marriage worked, okay? So Brahma was attracted to his own daughter and mm -hmm. he wanted to you know i can't you know screw her i'm saying screw because i don't I'm, uh, youtube is sensitive with like the f word right um and so that's why that's why he has five heads first of all okay he had five heads so he was looking at her and she tried to like escape her, his gaze so he grew up a why can't it's he the turn creepiest his head thing i've ever heard it's a creep it's a mo like this should be turned into a, like a five minute scary clip okay so like imagine like he's looking at you like Ugh, and then she just moves and instead of turning his head to keep looking at her, another head grew, grows on the side. And she's like, so she keeps moving because she's creeped out by her own father. And she she moves her back to the back. Then another head grows at the back so, she, so he could keep watching her. And then she moves again. So another head grows to this side. So she's like so bothered by the fact that this my father is creep growing up head. So she he, so he could watch me at the entire time. So she she goes up, she right? jumps, yeah. So she jumps or something. So she's like above him. So she, he grows up ahead this way, looking up. So like he wants to make sure that he could look at her at all times, right? So she was like, "You're being a weirdo. What the fuck? What is happening?" And so four heads agree. Four heads like, "Yeah, we're being a pervy. Are we being pervy? We're being pervy." But the other head like this is at Shiva. That the other head goes like 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 a snake. Like, argh, like, and that she was like cuts off that head, right? So, so if we tell if we tell you that Hindu, like Brahma, a Hindu god, the creator god, right, it was a uh, was pervy, okay, and Hindus were like, oh, you're being disrespectful to our god. Just, just, re just send, tell them a reminder that Shiva agrees with us. So there's another god in Hinduism that agrees with us. So they're like, oh, you're being like rude to our god. Well, Shiva cut off his head. Like which one? Like you know, that's which one is worse? We're just like saying, hey, you're being pervy, okay? So anyway, Shiva is in our camp. So if you disagree with us, pick it up with Shiva. Anyways, let's move on. Yeah, no, because Shiva goes and the way that the actual scripture is written, it sounds like they Shiva like rebukes Brahma and then, <laughs> but the fifth head sp speaks ill to Shiva, so he's like, oh frick. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, this is, yeah. It actually hisses at him. It doesn't just—it doesn't even speak. It's like I think you, I think I think the fifth head was from Slytherin. <laughs> <laughs> I know there are gonna be people who are like, oh, you know, it's not literal. It's an analogy. Blah blah blah. Well, it's that's this okay. Well, that's way Armin religion. tells it makes me laugh. Okay, I like this one. <laughs> Hi guys, did you know that March twenty third is Atheist Day? 
you should use the hashtag hashtag atheist day and post a picture of yourself with a green circle to let other people know that there are a lot more of us out there than many people expect and to help normalize atheism. You can draw it on your hand or on a piece of paper or other creative ways, so long as it's safe for you. This is also not exclusive to atheists. If you think that shunning or demonizing atheists is not okay, make sure to use the hashtag, hashtag atheist day on March 23rd to let your atheist friends know that you accept their non-belief. Happy atheist day.